Okay, we are at uh, 18.7 electrical safety. It's a single slide uh, presenta presentation, but it's uh, important to discuss that uh, this is the single slide. Uh, the, uh, it's the voltages and current capabilities that we've been working with. I've also often told you that there's no, don't worry about any of the, um, you know, being shocked by anything. We're working at five volts and the, uh, milliamp capability of the, uh, power supply is at that, that great. Um, so, uh, the, it's current, the voltage, uh, high voltage can cause you to, to uh, like if you happen to touch a live circuit, the voltage would, will cause you to, to grab on uh, and not be able to release it. It's not like, oh, I should let go of that. You, no, it causes your fingers to contract and you end up holding, but it's the current, the current path that's gonna kill you now uh, if you ever are around a experienced technician you'll see that they they touch they touch wires with like the back of their hand uh, never never you know touch it like this because it'll cause you to grab you you just touch it with the back of your hand so that if it causes you to contract it you'll contract away from the, the live wire but it's the path that it takes so if you were to to grab something and the path was through from one arm through your chest to the other arm that's a critical path that goes right through your heart it can uh, certainly uh, cause a lot of problems if, if for some reason it were to be like from your hand and to your elbow you know let's say you were touching ground and with your elbow and you grabbed here boy it would hurt and like it would hurt a lot and it might burn you, but it's, it's it caused a lot of damage, but it's not going to kill you if it doesn't go through your heart. Um, another scenario is where you're standing, let's say you're standing barefoot, uh, 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 or even if you have conductive soles, uh, if you touch something and it goes through your heart down to your legs, that's a path that crosses uh, through your heart. And so that's a critical path. So a lot of it depends on the path and a lot of it depends on the um, uh, How much current goes through? Uh, so uh, The degree of damage to the body depends on the magnitude of the current and the length of time it acts and the part of the body uh, through which it passes um, currents of five milliamps uh, or less can cause a sensation of shock but they, they ordinarily do little uh, or no damage. If it's larger than about 10 milliamps, the hand muscles contract and the person may be able to, may be unable to let go of the live wire. This is on page 608 of your text. Um, uh, if the current is at about 100 milliamps or more and it passes through the body for just a few seconds, it could be fatal. Uh, such a large current paralyzes the respiratory muscles. And in some cases, currents of one amp through the body produce serious and some, sometimes fatal burns. Uh, so the, the, uh, in the old fashioned uh, electrical outlets, uh, you know, you could, you could turn, turn the, um, the, uh, uh, turn the plug in either direction and get it to, uh, to fit and one of those sides was always hot and if you if, if the hot happened to touch the casing and your casing is uh touching uh, you i mean your hand is touching the casing you can see in the upper upper image how the uh there's suddenly a current path through the fellow's arm uh through his body down to his knee um, the, the high voltage side has come into contact with the drill case, so the person holding the drill receives an electric shock. Um, nowadays, uh, you have a three terminal, uh, three terminal uh, outlets. Um, you know, in the the middle one, uh, or the the one that that's uh, you, know, you have two 
uh, two slots like this, and then you have a third one. That the, that third one is the ground. And even when you don't have it like this is this is just from my coffee grinder. Uh, you can see that these outlets are actually polarized. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. One of them is slightly longer. I should do it in front of the camera, not in front of the image I'm looking at. One of them is slightly lo longer, lo wider than the other. It, I measured it as about um, eight millimeters, and this one is seven millimeters. So eight millimeters, seven millimeters, it's enough that you, I can't, uh, I go to make my coffee in the morning, I can't plug it this in in the wrong way. I have to plug it in in the correct polarized um, outlet uh, so that the, the hot doesn't get to it. But when you have that third ground, when you have that third prong, it allows the path to go to ground and safely uh, directs it away from your body. So that's one of the, the safety features. Um, so, uh, and that's, uh, I think that's all I need to discuss about that. Just uh, be careful when you, when you work, I mean, if you work at home and you replace like a lamp, I replace this particular lamp. Um, make sure that the, the, uh, your circuit breaker is off, that you're not, uh, working on a possible live circuit. Uh, I'm not recommending that you do it, but, uh, uh, it's called an electric electrician if you're not experienced with it. Um, otherwise, just be careful. All right. Uh, next, we're gonna the last section is conduction of electric electrical signals by neutrons. No, I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> neurons, neurons, not neutrons, neurons. <laughs> 